friends, welcome to the Geek Chic Cindy Cut and Sew Wristlet Sew Along. I am very excited about this because I've been seeing cut and sew panels everywhere and I've been dying to give them a try. So I, I'm just really excited I get to do this. Um, you are going to need zipper tape. You are going to need number three. I didn't have that on hand, I just had five. As well as a zipper pull, number three, and half inch D-ring and lobster clip. Again, I just had one inch on hand, so I thought, you know what, let's just give this a go and see see what it see what it turns out. Okay, so for your cut and sew panel, it's super easy. All these pieces that you need are right here for you. So there's no measuring, there's no guesswork. It's just simple quilt ruler, acrylic quilting ruler, and a rotary cutter, and you just go ahead and line your acrylic ruler up with the edge of your panel of your piece, your pattern piece, and just cut right along there. Um, super easy, super simple. I am absolutely loving this this version of cutting my pattern pieces. It just takes all the guesswork and all the, the accidental, like, oops, I didn't mean to do that, out of it. And it's just really awesome. So let's go ahead and cut these pieces up and get started on sewing. So this cut and sew panel comes with exterior panels, which I'm cutting now. The nice thing though is you can exchange them if you would prefer the leopard print out. Um, you can use those for your exterior. I'm using it for the interior. Um, so it has exterior panels, interior panels. Um, again, completely interchangeable. It also has a wristlet, um, a wrist uh, band, which is nice because it's nice and long. So. Um, again, customizable if you're like, if you need a little bit more width for your wrist, you can keep it at the length it is. If you're like, oh no, I can cut it down, you can definitely trim it. Um, and it also comes with a D-ring um, tab. So it has everything you need to complete this pattern. And it's so simple and so easy. And I'm just loving these cut and sews so much. All right, now that we've got our pieces cut out, let's get started on assembly. Okay, the first thing we need to do is take our wristlet strap and we are going to fold it wrong sides together in half and, and press it. That's going to give us a nice press line to then fold it wrong side, each side in towards that press, that line, that middle line, um, and press those so that um, now that the two raw edges are in the middle, and then we are going to fold that in half again so that they are fully encased in our wristlet strap. All right, now that we've got our wristlet strap all prepped, it's time to start um, getting it sewn up. So we're gonna take our lobster clip and we are going to put it um, through our wristlet strap. Uh, you can do about midway, however works. You can just need it out of the way. Um, and then we're gonna open up the wristlet, the folds, and on both sides, and then we are going to put, fold it in half so that the, the strap is right sides together. Then we are going to sew along using a quarter inch seam allowance. We're going to sew that strap together at these raw edges. Okay, now that that's all sewn up and now we have a circular wrist piece, we are going to just finger press this seam allowance open so it kind of reduces some of the bulk there. And then we are going to fold our strap back in on those memory creases, the memory creases that we created earlier. So we're just going to fold it all back in and then we're going to press it so that it stays nice and flat and doesn't try and do anything wonky when we go to top stitch it. Alright, now that we've got that all pressed and looking nice, we are going to top stitch around the wristlet strap on both sides. So we're going to sew in a continuous circle on both sides of this using about an eighth of an inch away from the edge, just continuous circle. As you go, you're just going to kind of move that lobster clip out of the way so you don't sew over it or anything like that. So we're just going to sew two continuous circles on either side of our wristlet strap.
All right, top stitching done. Now what we're going to do is we are going to make it so this lobster clap clasp doesn't move around on us. Um, so I'm gonna fold my wristlet strap in half and you can either put a rivet through um, close to the lobster, the lobster claps or you can um, go ahead and just put a couple of stitches along that. That way you're just securing that last lobster clasp and it's not going to be moving all the way all over the place. Now remember I used a half inch or an inch lobster clasp instead of a half inch so mine does look a little wonky but um, if you use the proper size it'll look great. All right, our wristlet strap is all prepped and ready to go, so let's do the same to our D-ring tab. Um, just like with the wristlet strap, we are going to fold it in half, right, wrong sides together, and then take those raw edges and put them towards that fold, and just go ahead and press that nice and flat so it doesn't try and move. So your raw edges will be enclosed in your fold. Okay, now it's time to top stitch on either edge an eighth of an inch away from these sides. Now it is time to add our D-ring. Remember again, I'm using one inch hardware instead of half inch, so it's gonna look a little off. Um, but go ahead and slip that over your D-ring piece tab and um, fold it in half. Then what we're going to do is just baste along the raw edges there an eighth of an inch away. So our wristlet strap and D-ring tab are all done, so let's go ahead and set them aside. And we're gonna pull, start working on our main wristlet pieces. So you are going to need um, your zipper tape to cut it to eight and a half inches. And then you're gonna take your exterior wristlet piece and place it right sides up. And then go ahead and lay your zipper tape right sides together with that exterior piece and pin or clip along the raw edges. After you're done with this, you can baste it or you can just move on um, to the next step. I did not baste just because I like to live life on the edge, I guess. <laughs> so after you've basted it, what you're going to do is you're gonna take your interior piece and you are gonna lay it right sides together um, so that your zipper is sandwiched in between your exterior and interior piece. Once that's done, you're gonna sew along um, using a quarter inch seam allowance so along those top raw edges there. Okay, so now that our zipper is attached to one of our exterior and one of our lining pieces, we're gonna fold it so that the right sides are out, so wrong sides are touching, and we're just going to press that so it's nice and flat. All right, so my zipper tape is showing a little bit more than yours might be because I used number five instead of number three. But um, what we're gonna do next is just top stitch right along there an eighth of an inch away. Okay, so now that our one of our interior and exterior pieces are top stitched and prepped, we are going to go ahead and attach the other, other side. So lay your exterior piece right sides up and then lay your zipper tape right sides together again like we did with the other side. Now make sure that your exterior and interior that we sewed are out of the way. They should be if you top stitched. Um, pin or clip along the raw edge and then take your interior and again sandwich it right sides together with sandwich the zipper between the exterior and interior right sides together. Then what we're going to do is just like the other side we're going to sew along the top using a quarter inch seam allowance. All right, just like with the other side of our wristlet, we are gonna open up these pieces and press them so they're nice and flat. Next, we are going to top stitch an eighth of an inch away from our edge there. Okay. 
Okay, so now it is time to add our zipper pull. Um, I filmed 22 segments for this video and I think eight of them were for attaching a zipper pull. It was, for some reason I just struggled, but attach your zipper pull and then we're gonna move on to the next step. Zipper pull on, now it's time to attach our D-ring tab. So we are gonna take one of our interior pieces and fold it down towards the exterior and interior piece on the other side. And then we're gonna measure 3 4 inches down from our zipper tape and place our D-ring tab there, making sure that it extends a half of an inch past the raw edge of our exterior piece. This is going to allow us um, to make sure it gets caught in the seam, seam allowance. Um, you can go ahead and baste it if you want. I like to live life on the fast lane, so um, I just clip it. <laughs> All right, next what we're gonna do is we are going to fold, or we are gonna unfold everything so that we can put our interior pieces right sides together and our exterior pieces right sides together. So we'll have what two small rectangles are now gonna form like one big square. Um, that's what it's gonna look like. So um, just pin or clip all the way around that. And then when you get to your interior por portion of um, your wristlet here, we are going to make sure when we sew around that we have, we leave about a three or four inch gap for turning our wristlet out. So make sure you kind of clip that so as a reminder, you know, hey, I need to remember to leave this gap for turning my wristlet out. Um, after you pin or clip it all the way around, what we're going to do is we are going to sew, starting at one of our opening areas, we're going to sew all the way across, down, across again, back up, and over to our next clip, um, making sure to backstitch when we start and we end our stitches. That way when we turn it, it doesn't pop all our stitches out for us. So we are going to sew around using a quarter inch seam allowance. All right, so we've sewn all the way around our wristlet, making sure to leave a three or four inch gap on the interior piece. Now we're going to just trim up that D-ring tab and clip our corners so that when we turn our bag, they're nice and crisp. So yeah, all that's left now is to turn our bag um, through that opening that we had, making sure to really poke out those corners. Again, I'm using my purple thing. <laughs> I use it for everything. Um, so just make sure those corners are nice and poked out and then once it's all looking nice and crisp what we're going to do is we are going to fold the raw edges of our opening in a quarter inch towards the line the interior of the bag um, so raw edges together quarter inch fold um, you can press it and then what we're gonna do is just sew along that um, opening just to close that out up Okay, now that our opening is all closed, we're just gonna tuck that interior right into the exterior of the bag, make, making sure to push the corners in, and voila, there it is. Our wristlet is finished. We can attach our strap to the D-ring, and ah, it's just so perfect. It's so cute, and I love it, and I cannot wait to wear it around. It fits my phone perfectly. Um, my phone, some cards, I think it's great for a night on the town. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.